Hello and welcome to African Farming. I'm Batibile Murutwani. GMO is a hot topic and CropLife is spearheading the campaign of the responsible use of this technology. And through their invitation, we have a special guest in studio today, Dr. Machingise from ARC or the Agricultural Research Council. Doctor, welcome. Thank you. Doctor, what is GMO technology? GMO technology is whereby a plant's genetic material has been genetically modified by inserting a small piece of genetic material from another organism. For example, BT maize. BT maize has been modified by taking a small piece of genetic material from a soil bacteria whose name initials is BT. BT is known to produce chemicals that when they are sprayed onto plants, they kill a certain group of insects. So scientists took the genetic material from the soil bacterium that enables that bacterium to produce those chemicals and inserted that genetic material into maize plants so that the maize plants can now produce their own chemical to protect themselves from insect pests. Now, farmers face a lot of challenges in the field. How can GMO technology help them to get rid of all those problems? Farmers face challenges such as weeds and insect pests when they produce crops. Crops with the BT technology are protected from a certain group of insects such as stem borers and fall armyworm for maize. And also the pod borer, say for cow peas. There are also plants that we say are Roundup ready. Those are plants that where small pieces of genetic material has been inserted to make them to, to prevent them from being killed by certain chemicals or herbicides that are used to, to, to control weeds. So for example, if you plant a Roundup red maize crop and then you, you spray Roundup when the maize crop is growing, all the other plants will be killed except that maize plant. And therefore, you would have effectively controlled the weeds. So Roundup ready technology is helping farmers to control weeds easily. The BT technology is helping farmers to control insect pests much more easily instead of spraying chemicals. For example, the fall armyworm is very difficult to control with pesticides, but farmers can now easily control fall armyworm by using BT. And lastly, Doc, food security has always been an issue in Africa. How can this technology um, help us face and also defeat those problems? The GM technology can assist farmers and countries to become food secure in the sense that when farmers are growing crops, they are losing a lot of their yield to insect pests, to drought, to weeds, and so on. For example, in Nigeria, where cowpea is an important food crop, the farmers lose as much as 90% of their crop to pod borers. But those that are now growing BT cowpea, they can now achieve higher yields and therefore food security. South Africa as a country is always food secure in terms of maize production because our farmers are using BT maize, Roundup Ready maize, and therefore the yield losses are much less and the yields are very high. So these technologies assist farmers to become food secure by enabling them to get high yields and also preventing losses of their crops. Doc, thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. For more information on the responsible use of these technologies, please visit croplife.co.za. Keep on talking to us at hashtag African Farming or AfricanFarming.com. And remember, we farm better together. Get the necessary cover for you and your family in the event of unforeseen misfortune. The African Farming Protector Plan offers you comprehensive funeral cover for your entire family plus extended family at an affordable cost. Our product also offers benefits such as monthly discounts on groceries, discounted bus tickets, 
ambulance services, and trauma and assault assistance, to name a few. For more information on the African Farming Comprehensive Funeral Plan, SMS African Farming to 45269 and get the peace of mind you deserve.